I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to try and guess what bike is underneath this sheet. Now during this time, if you feel like you know what bike it is, feel free to leave a comment down below. Are you ready? And voila. That did not work out as planned. Well, anyways, you get the point. Colt sent me out this 26 inch Devotion Cruiser and I could not be more stoked on this bike. I mean, it is absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna give you guys the rundown. Before we do that, I just wanna mention this bike is a sample, so just know some of the parts you see may be aftermarket, but for the most part, I believe it's the exact same bike. Also, the Devotion is now available to purchase in raw and chrome. I don't believe they make it in black anymore, but we'll touch on that later on. Now, obviously, starting with the main component of the bike, you've got a 22-inch top tube, 100% chromoly frame. Having a bigger frame gives you a bit more clearance. That way, you aren't on top of the handlebars, making it way more comfortable. It comes with a Colt Salvation V3 top load stem, which is pretty cool because this is the exact stem I ride on my BMX bike. Vans waffle grips, 100% chromoly fork, and an integrated headset. Three-piece heat-treated 175 millimeter cranks and cold plastic pedals. This bike comes with a 25 tooth member sprocket which you wouldn't normally see on a regular cruiser bike therefore it makes it unique. We've got the Chandra County Tiger seat and the pivotal post. Now this bike is equipped with all sealed bearings including the wheels. We've got the single wall front wheel and the double wall back wheel. The Devotion comes with Colt Vans tires. I also run these tires on my 20 inch bike and I love everything about them. From just the look to the sound of cruising through the streets they're hands down the best. Before I forget to mention this bike does come with brakes. I do recommend that you keep them on. Now, if you notice near the dropouts, this bike has a vintage style loop. This gives it that old school flavor, which I find awesome. Last, but definitely not least, my favorite part about the bike, the rear rack. Now, this is an accessory. I do not believe it comes with the bike, but I totally recommend you get one. Whatever it may be that you have, just throw it on the rack and go. A skateboard, a backpack, food, the possibilities are endless. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to put this bike to the test. You guys know the deal. I'm honestly super excited to see how this bike handles New York City, and I've got a lot of aspects that I'm trying to cover in this video to show this bike's full potential. I think it's gonna be intense. We've only got so much daylight, so let's do this.
What's good? What's this? What is this? This is the best bike you can buy, man. Where's the BMX bike? You don't buy BMX? Nah, no BMX today. This thing can do anything. What's up? How was uh, Coney Island? City from Brooklyn to Manhattan covering about a 35 to 40 mile radius weaving through traffic dodging pedestrians animals trash and any other obstacle you could possibly name now this is me just riding not even thinking of anything while filming this video the devotion is great for any purpose and as you guys seen earlier we took it to the pump track and I have to say that was a great time got a pretty big scene over there and it just nothing but good vibes personally it was my first time going there i've never been there before not even with my bmx bike and i wasn't sure what to expect but as you guys just seen this thing absolutely rips i got a lot of great comments about this bike while i was riding around and it's definitely an eye catcher but what it seems like is a lot of people are stuck on the small sprocket concept they don't seem to understand how the bike can go so fast yet the sprocket is so small because you wouldn't normally see a small sprocket like this on any other bike but a bmx bike and they were very interested and it's pretty cool to see that. If you're someone who lives in a big city or maybe even just looking into purchasing a cruiser bike, I would definitely recommend looking into the Devotion. You guys just see me put it to the test. The bike is amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> it's fast, it's clean, it's convenient, and most importantly, it's affordable. Yeah, Yo, you're gonna just poop right behind the camera. Yo, you can't be pooping behind the camera. I'm trying to film a video here, Bella. It's not cool, dude. People don't want to watch you poop in the background. Don't come over here and stop If you are some sort of bicycle messenger, or maybe even a skateboarder that's just looking to get around faster, I would totally recommend getting the bike rack. It does come in handy and it makes everything a lot easier. That way you don't have to worry about holding anything or even tying your board to the rack. It just makes it so much more comfortable. Even if you're not into bikes or cycling, this could be an awesome gift for someone else. No matter the age or gender, the devotion fits anyone. You can visit www.coltcrew.com for more info on this bike other bikes, soft goods, and more. The link is always in the description below. And feel free to use code PANZA for 15% off your entire purchase. Now, before we wrap up this video, there's one thing I would like to share with you guys, but first we need to rewind back like 20 seconds. This could be an awesome gift for someone else. Hmm. Take this one. Like I mentioned earlier, this bike could be a great gift for someone else. And right now, you guys are about to witness me surprise my girlfriend with this brand new bike. The bike that she has now is absolutely fucking terrible. It's from Walmart and the design sucks, the parts suck, and it's so inconvenient to bring around. She has no idea that this is about to happen, but the first thing that we need to do is wrap it up. <laughs> I can already see this being a huge mess, but we're gonna try and do as best as we possibly can. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give myself about a 2. By the time I got to the handlebars, I was feeling a little bit lazy. Also, I didn't wrap the other side of the bike, but she can't even see that. Obviously, gift wrapping is not my forte. But do you think she'll know it's a bike? No, I don't think she'll know it's a bike at all. 
I think uh, she's going to be really surprised. I just want to mention that this gift wrapping paper is a total joke. This is not serious at all. I don't think she's going to be able to tell that it's a bike. Also, to any dad that plans on buying their daughter a bike, watch a YouTube tutorial on how to gift wrap. It's a lot harder than it looks. Now that we have the devotion all wrapped up in the princess paper, I'm going to give my girlfriend the call. I'm going to have her come over here, and we're going to film her reaction. Hello. What's up? Hey. What are you doing? Nothing. I just got out of the gym. Nice, nice. I'm finishing up a video over here, and then after that I don't really have any plans. Do you want to come over and then grab some food real quick? Yes, I'm starving. Yeah? Alright, well, I'm in the backyard right now. I'm editing, so just come back here. Alright, She's going to be coming through this gate. Then we're going to have the bike right here. And then we got this hidden camera right here, which she's not going to notice. And that's going to be filming her reaction. No way. This is yours. <laughs> Check it out. Little Stop. princess mobile. This is he really? Oh, it's not gonna open itself. Dude, I've been waiting for this. Get rid of my freaking bike now. <laughs> no. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate my gift wrapping skills? Yo, your boy killed it on the gift wrapping paper. Oh my. I love it so much. Put a ping ball on it, maybe? I don't know. Now we match. <sighs> I'm ready.